Israel, the children of Israel. Israel was the name of Hazrat Yaqub alayhi salam. And uh, the meaning of Israel is an obedient slave or an obedient bondsman of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the offsprings and the progeny of Hazrat Yaqub alayhi salam is being addressed. Now this family is very, very frequently spoken of in Quran and they are addressed very frequently in Quran. <clears throat> so today I will give a basic introduction of the family and we will not be repeating the whole uh, discussion over and over again. From Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam, two main family trees, they are discussed in Quran. And the two main family trees are Bani Israel and Bani Ismail. Bani Israel, Hazrat uh, Ibrahim alayhi salam, we know he was the resident of Iraq, uh, 2100 years BC. And uh, when he started speaking against the worshiping of idols uh, by the people of Iraq, he was um, taken enemy to, and then he was thrown in fire. And the fire, he's, he escaped with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he migrated from Palestine, from Iraq to Palestine and accompanied him, Hazrat Sara and Hazrat Lut. Hazrat Sara was uh, his paternal cousin and Hazrat Lut was his nephew. And then he migrated to Palestine, he settled there and he married Hazrat Sara. And Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam and Hazrat Sara in Palestine, they had a son, Hazrat Ishaq alayhi salam. And then his son was Hazrat Yaqub alayhi salam. And the family tree which continued from Hazrat Yaqub alayhi salam has been called as Bani Israel. Now, um, briefly explaining the story after Hazrat Yaqub alayhi salam. He had uh, 12 sons, 10 sons, and uh, Hazrat Yusuf Islam and his brother, real brother, Hazrat Bani Amin. Salam, Hazrat Yusuf Islam and Hazrat Bani Amin. Now, after some time, we also learned from Surah Yusuf that the 10 brothers, they got envious and they threw Hazrat Yusuf Islam in the well. And he was taken out from there and he was sold as a slave and uh, then he reached Egypt. And finally, over the years, he finally became the king of Egypt. And uh, there, finally, when the brothers reached there to get food for themselves, they were um, finally asked by Hazrat Yusuf salam. He asked his stepbrothers and his parents, that is the whole family, to come and settle to Egypt. And this is how the whole family of Bani Israel migrated from Palestine to Egypt. Now in Egypt, as long as they stayed connected to the teachings of Allah and the teachings of the prophet, they had power, they, had, they were the rulers of the land of Egypt. But when they deviated from the teachings, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took away the power, took away the rule and imposed a nation over them. And the people of these Kipti people, they made them the slaves. And the rulers of the Kiptis were the Pharaoh. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And these people, they were very hard to them. And they were very cruel to them. And they punished them. And they persecuted them. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had mercy on the people of Bani Israel. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. Hazrat Musa alayhi salam was sent towards the family of Bani Israel again. And uh, with the help, once they again believed in the teachings of Allah and they obeyed Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, then finally they were released from the rulers and they were made to stay in a desert. And uh, then for a destined period, they stayed in the desert and finally they were asked to make jihad. And uh, they made jihad and they fought back the land of the prophets, Palestine. The Palestine, which was the homeland and the birthplace of the prophets was 
again acquired by the people of uh, Bani Israel. And when they again deviated, they were again punished by Allah. And uh, on account of this, they have been mentioned as the Maghdub. So the Maghdub were the followers of Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, that is the Jews. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again blessed them with the prophethood of Hazrat Isa alayhi salam and the book of Injil. And they preferred to go astray despite receiving the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the book. And then they have been called the Christians, the followers of Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, they have been called as Dualim. So now if I sum up the whole events of Bani Israel, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the Bani Israel, he is actually referring to the followers of Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, that is the Jews, and they've been labeled as Maghdu in Quran. And uh, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about the followers of Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, the Christians, they have been referred as the Dualim. So talking about Bani Israel means referring to the Jews and the Christians. 